Hello developers, welcome back to my tutorial. First of all, this tutorial is made in Swift 4 on Xcode 9, but if you are still using Swift 3, then this should work fine for you. Today, I will show how to use Pick a View with button. Pick a View is similar to drop down, uh, similar to drop down menu. This is what we will be creating today. So this is a button. Select animal. We select cat. It changes a uh, label. So cool, right? So let's get started. Uh, here I have a new project. So what we will do is we will show picker view on press of a button. Once selection is made, we will hide picker view and also change button label to selection. So let's quickly add button and picker view on view. So I'll find for picker view and put it here. And I also need a button. So button over here, put picker view on top. And let's give it constraint 0 from top, 0 from left, 0 from right, and a fixed height. And we will put button just underneath our pick of view. And it will be horizontally in container. And 8 from top and a fixed width and height. Width will be 250 and height should be 70. And it's in center as well. So let's change text color to white and size to 20 and we need background color background color will be gray i like light gray and we will say select animal and we just uh, now need to connect this our our uh, we just need to create outlets so this will be pick a view say pick a view and for button we need to create an outlet and action both so this will be selection button so this becomes our outlet and this will be our select the rest and this will be our action and it will be of type ui button hit connect so we are done with the storyboard part let's hop over to view controller change to standard editor and let's get started so first of all, we need to put data in our view controller, uh, in our pick of view. So first of all, we need two protocols, which is just start typing pick of view. You will get pick a, UI pick of view data source and it will be UI pick of view delegate. So under UI pick of view data source, just command click and jump to definition. These two methods are compulsory. So just it's eight o'clock. copy and paste it under select function. And we also need one more method. And we will just get rid of all this first. And let's say we need brackets. Get rid of this. Brackets for this. And we are good. And we need one more, uh, two more functions. Uh, one is title for row pick a view. And I'll just do some enters so that you guys can see. So Okay, and another one is, let's say, did select row. And let's start putting in values. For number of components, it will be return equal to one. And our number of rows in component, we first of all need our data. So let's create an array. So animals equal to, let's start with lion. I like capital dog monkey cat and a bat so bat is a bird but anyways it doesn't matter okay so number of components it's one and number of rows will be return animals dot count and for title for row it will be return we need string so it will be animals square brackets just pass in row so this row comes from this title for row and for did select row we will uh, we will come back to this part later so now what we do is uh, first of all when view did load when view loads we will hide our pick of view so it will be pick of view dot is hidden is equal to true and for select press, we will say if pick a view 
dot is hidden if it's hidden then we need to show it so pick a view dot is hidden is equal to false and so let's try to run our application once so the application is installing and this one is from my previous app so this one just installed and when we press select animal we don't see anything so this is because we forgot to do we forgot to assign delegate and data source to our pick a view so under view did load just say pick a view dot delegate is equal to self and pick a view dot data source equal to self and let's quickly run the application and check if it works or not so the application started and when we hit select animal we can see our picker view so now what uh, we are left uh, with doing is we need to change label of our button and hide the picker view again so we can do that in our picker view did select row method so this event happens every time we select a row so let's just change our label first so selection button dot set title and title will be animals and just pass in row we get row from here as well and for control state just hit dot and start typing normal so this works and now we need to hide our picker view so it will be picker view dot is hidden is equal to true let's run the application we are done with the coding part as well so this should be our final result so let's say select animal let's say monkey it changes to monkey and hides pick of you so if you press the button again you again get the selection and you can change your selection so this is how you integrate a uh, ui button and pick a view thank you guys keep watching uh, if you like my video don't forget to hit like if you have any questions do comment in my comment section and please subscribe for future videos